Well, we just had a heck of a cold front blow through, and we're supposed to get into the 20s later this week. And I just ran out of propane. Yep, it's out. All right, time to switch tanks and probably make a trip to town. Let's discuss what's going to go on here. I have no idea what's going on with this camera. But for the controls and the uh, positive wiring, I need the engine in place so I can measure everything. But on this engine, I'm going to have to remove the muffler, the electric clutch, and on this side, this adapter. And now this adapter is very rare. So, uh, yeah, we're going to hang on to all this stuff I'm going to remove. So, what I may do on this engine is remove the tins and see if I can tr transplant them here. But the only difference being is this has an extra fan on the outside. We may leave that. But for the most part, I may transplant the rest of these tins over. Um, just so I don't have to repaint those because this is going to still get badged and I got the cables on this so I can measure the length but for the most part I'm going to be taking stuff apart from here and here and then kind of mix mashing to where we can get this guy to fit in here both engines even though that's an 18 and that's a 16 i measured them they're both identical in size so it must be the bore that's different so yeah that's where we're going to go with it i'll bring you back when i either have progress or i run into an issue but for now i need to run to town well i'm not sure if this is going to be a snag or not but so i've got the, the muffler removed and the hardware bagged for it air filter yeah it needs a new one and uh the uh pto all the hardware is bagged i removed that but the snag i'm talking about is this carburetor uses a firewall mounted fuel pump <clears throat> i've got one of those but I've got two carbs with the fuel pump, so we may have to see if we can salvage one of these carbs. I hope the tins come off of that one as easy as they came off of this one. I'm going to have to look at something. I may have a showstopper. Let me uh, show you what I'm talking about here. I put a couple bolts. The bolt holes line up, but what does not line up is this is an access to change the spark plug, and the spark plug is over here. On this engine, the spark plug is, if you put this in, this would be where that access hole is. So, my big question now, this engine rotates this way. So it really depends on which way we're going to be rotating over here. So I need to pull the tins off and see if we can figure out which way this engine rotates. Man, that wind is howling out there. Yeah, it's, it's definitely blowing in a cold front. I'm hearing some serious creaking and groaning back here. I don't know, it's probably that antenna. I don't know guys, I'm uh, slowly trying to loosen these bolts. I got them all broke loose. And it, it just tightened up. I get it to that point and I back it up and bring it back. Yeah, it's tight right there, so we're going to back it up 
and I'm going to spray it again. I'm out about an eighth of an inch on that one. Do the same thing on these. That one's. This one, I don't know if I'm going to be able to save it. Okay. Let's see how. No, that's all she tightened up. Back it off. That one's going to get sprayed again. Feeling good. Okay, we got one out. I've been at this for about a half hour now. That one just tightened up. Yep. That one's gonna have to get sprayed again. Yeah, patience, PB blast, and a lot of back and forth, and I didn't break any bolts. I did notice. there wasn't two in the bottom down here and nope they were just taken out all right so now i should be able to determine which way this one spins and it looks like it spins the same way see how the fins are angled here so yeah so we we rotate counterclockwise yeah counter no we rotate clockwise and clockwise so yeah i think we're good so i guess when the time comes it may be a little bit of a pain to change that plug but i think i think we should be able to do it without having to move some stuff around but uh i may go ahead and put new plugs in this before we put it in there that way it's not going to be run much and this will still be considered a spare engine well bad news for this engine it is locked up tighter than a drum i thought the uh coil might have been rusted to it but no she's not budging any at all uh oh yeah i'll check the other one but this one honestly seemed a lot less rusted than the other one so yeah this one's got a big ding there it's missing bolts and bolts look a lot worse than what i'm dealing with right now but it is a second chance let me see if it'll turn but this one this one the one had oil in it so there may be hope for something here so yeah i think this one's Even sounds like it's got compression. So, this one spins, so I'm going to strip everything off the other one while it's up on the bench. That, uh, you know, the tins and stuff, because, yeah, we can see this is damaged here. And then I get my son in here and we'll do an engine swap on the bench. Well, so far I'm batting a thousand with my method of removing these screws. It's just a lot of back and forth and PB blast. But, uh, yeah, I got to get the other side, but I'm about done for the night. I'm going to have to get my vacuum over here, clean up, straighten up the bench a little bit, put these tins away. Yeah, these are going to get re uh, restored. I don't know what I'm going to do with the engine. I may tear into it just to see how bad it is inside, but looking at this dipstick, I don't think it's going to be very good in there. So, yeah, this may be just strip this block off, starter, carburetor, 
Um, I don't. I ain't even gonna pull the flywheel. May take the intake off, and uh, you know, just strip everything I can get off of it for parts, and maybe get that other one put together. I don't know yet. All right, we're gonna call it here. Thanks for watching.